All right, guys, welcome back to another video of Shaman J. Today, we're going to be covering the cover display. No pun intended. We're going to be showing you uh, what you can do with this cover display if you have a Z Flip 4. So uh, first thing you want to do is you want to get into your device. You want to go down to settings and then you want to go down to cover display. And this is where you'll find everything you need to do or what you can do with the cover display itself. And it's pretty interesting. Uh, uh, there's so much going on in this cover display. It's incredible. So uh, first thing you want to do is go to clock styles. So here you can literally customize this first one with just colors. But there's different ones you can actually choose in different styles that you can actually go through uh, and update this however you want. And they all have a customized button for some kind of color if you want to change the color. And I'm just clicking through each one of these here. I like these little simple ones right here, actually. Those are really nice with the date and time and battery percentage. Then you can get into a really detailed um, thing here on these. Now, these text ones are all colors. You get to choose your favorite color uh, and things like that. So um, now you get down to graphical. And this is where you start to see, whoa, I can really do a lot with this. Now, keep in mind, I think some of these might take a small hit on your battery, but I'm getting about almost two days of battery life out of this. So I don't think it will bother you too much. You can hit customize. You can see now you can change all these different things here uh, for this one particular one right here. And you can do text color as well. I think all these have text color, but some of these more simple ones are pretty nice. Again, you can change here and then change the text color. Do what you want. So this is um, this is about as corny as I could possibly get. I actually, I, I don't like these AR emojis the way they make me look. It's totally it's a shame, but this is the AR emoji that I could, that I could muster up the best I could get. <laughs> it, was, it was hilarious. I should have recorded or screen recorded me trying to create this thing, but I don't like their they are their emojis. Uh, I think apples are worlds ahead and way more realistic. Uh, but this is what you can choose. Also, you can do uh, AR emoji and put that there if you like. Uh, if that's your thing, shout out to Tech Love and Mama. Hers is super clean. That's, she's probably one of the only ones I've seen. Uh, one of the few I've seen that actually does a really good AR emoji. So shout out to her. Uh, and then you can have this version here where you customize the clock uh, with the color and the text color. And so that's that's really cool. And you can go, this is a popular one, I think. I see a lot of these on, on videos for people using these right here, where you can have them shuffle through all of these different ones or just choose the one you like. Uh, and then you got the jumbo size number here. Where you can pretty much choose the color, uh, lots of colors in that one, and the text. Uh, and then you can choose here. You can choose this one right here. See the different versions of the little animals and things you can do. And this is another one that is really popular, I think. Uh, this one gets a lot of love and I actually like this one right here. So I'll set mine to this one. You can change the text color, if you will, to all these different ones. It, it's really nice. I think it's really nice to be able to get all these changed out like this. Uh, but let's hit done and then that's one you can use. And then you can also do it like this as well with the customization for here and change to all of these. And again, text color. So let's uh, put it here and then we'll hit done. But let's go back in there and let's go down here. Uh, let me go back to, oh, I wanna change. I wanna, I wanna put it here first because then you can go down here to change background image. So you can choose from wallpapers and these are the stock looking wallpapers that you can actually choose to. So if you wanna have it like this, this is what it, it'll change all of these in these text ones to that specific color. Uh, and then you just go back to wallpapers and you can just change it here. You can see exactly how it looks. These are the ones that will probably save you the most battery, if anything. Now, the cover display doesn't stay lit up too much, but it does. When you double tap it to turn it on, you will get these animations and things like that. So uh, if you go here, let's, I think I like that one, but I'm going to change it back to the other one. But if you go down here to gallery, you can actually choose in your gallery what you want to change it to. So if you want to, uh, let's just say, pick this picture of the phone. Um, it'll put this like this and you can move it however you want to move it however you want to do it I think it'd be cool to have it right right there you can shrink it down and then that is how you can do it and then you'll have this displayed out for everything on your device so um, you know it's it's pretty cool that you can actually do this um, uh, I, I think that the cover display has got to be one of the, the coolest things you could possibly do to your device. It's very simple, very nice, very elegant. 
Uh, but uh, let's put it, to, let's just leave it there for now. I'll leave it there. And then that's the, that's the settings for the cover display. Um, let's go down to widgets. Now here's where you can have tons of things in here. Uh, you can have music, weather, today's schedule. Why isn't that checked? Uh, Samsung, why isn't that checked? <laughs> uh, you can have direct dial. Uh, you can have smart things, scenes. There's a, a bunch of, you can have everything in here and you can reorder them and put them how you want to have them in here. It's long press and you move it up here. Let's move the calendar. Music doesn't have to be first. Hit today's schedule. This is how you do it. Uh, let's get my health in there because I love health. And then you go back uh, and oh, did I, did I, oh, please tell me I saved that. Okay, yeah, it's saved. There we go. Uh, and those are the, the way you can control the widgets uh, on, on the display. Uh, and then when you close this and you want to access your screen here, if you give it a quick double tap, then you can see the animation that you actually just put in there and then you get to swipe through all of the things that you actually um, can, that you had in there and they go in the order that you you did them so um, this is really nice right here and then you can uh, access it that way so uh, if you want to use the camera this is a feature that I don't generally use I don't use the camera the power button for for uh, quick toggles but I want to demonstrate it for you here so if you double click it it'll access the camera as you can see here there's a Sigma lens pointing right at you if you swipe this way it'll get you into video and you swipe again you swipe up you'll change lenses that changes to the wide angle lens and if you swipe this way for photo you swipe up again it'll change to the wide angle lens as you can see there boom there I am I did a hand motion which is why I took that photo um, but you can do uh, hand motions. You do this one right here, and it'll take a photo of you when you're facing. I don't know why how I did it last time, but and I like also that it has portrait mode. So it lets me know that it's ready to take a portrait shot, and you can kind of see me right there. And you see there, I take a portrait shot, uh, and that is how you can um, access that cover display. So then this is the shot that I just took right here. Very nice, very clean. Even in the, the I mean, cause you're getting the best of the cameras right here with the cameras on the rear. Now the front camera is actually pretty solid, uh, but that is a very nice feature. So the cover display folks uh, is one that I think you'll probably really enjoy if you decide to start using it. So there's a lot with the cover display and I really hope you guys enjoy your Z Flip 4. Oh, I wanna show you uh, some screenshots I took of my battery. Uh, I, I generally am getting really good batteries. You can see here, a full charge will normally last me almost two days. Now, Samsung added 400 milliamps to this device. It was 3,300 before. Uh, and I think you'll, you're probably going to be pretty happy with this battery. So maybe I'll do another follow-up with me using a really fancy cover display. And let's, speaking of that, let me change it to the AR emoji one uh, just to see how my uh, display handles itself going forward so I'm going to change it to that and I'm going to customize this and I'm going to change the text color to let's just see this here I guess let's see if we can get like a red color there we go and we're gonna hit done and done and now our cover display is in fact the red and when you double tap it you got your AR emoji in there. He'll pop up and do different stuff. That's kind of, that's a punk mode right there. I mean, I mean, let me, I don't like all this. That, that didn't look right. They needed to come on with that. That's corny, him twirling out like a ballerina. That's Dalton right there. But nonetheless, that is your cover display, folks. Uh, it's your man, Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. And this is a wrap. I actually really love the Z Flip 4. And I think if you decide to get it, that is a section that you really need to head over to first because you can do a lot from that. You can respond to, respond to text messages. You can check your emails. You can do a lot from there. And there's actually um, companies that are making things to make this. You can take really a full advantage of display by having full-size apps out there, watch YouTube videos. I don't see the purpose of doing that, but... We'll see, if it was the screen of the Motorola Razr, then I will be checking for that. But when this little screen, I'm content with having this because this is for people also who don't wanna buy a smartwatch. If you're not into smartwatches, if you don't wanna spend the money on a smartwatch, my 
5 Pro right there. I just take it off the charge and get it charged up. If you don't want to spend the money on a smartwatch, this is definitely something that's going to make you happy. It's your man Jay. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.